Do you want to know the latest news in Singapore for this month of October? Stick around and let's find out together. News from the Economic and Commercial Office of the Embassy of Spain in Singapore. During the month of October, different fairs were held in Singapore. Firstly, the FHA Oreca, where eight Spanish companies presented their innovative products. Secondly, the Singapore Week of Innovation and Technology, Switch, where different investors, startups and corporates gathered to exchange ideas on the future of technology and where our office organized a panel with three Spanish experts on the field. And finally, the Industrial Transformation Asia Pacific Fair with the participation of five Spanish clusters. To conclude with our activities, our office launched during October the Restaurants from Spain campaign to promote the 15 Spanish restaurants certified in Singapore. Moving on to our microanalysis in Singapore, Inflation is now over 7% and the Singapore dollar has increased and appreciated by almost 15% against the euro last year. Residential rates have increased by 20 to 40% due to the Hong Kong exit effect and as a result several Spanish companies are talking about moving their headquarters and residences to neighbouring countries. In addition, the Ministry of Manpower's latest data exchange showed that unemployment rate had declined to 1.9%, marking it the lowest unemployment rate since March 2016. Singapore's known oil export growth was only 3.2% in September due to a sharp decline in electronic sales. Seasonally adjusted quarterly growth in the third quarter is estimated at 1.5% in comparison to the negatively 0.2% of the previous quarter. The services sector and the construction perform positively, while industry is in a negative quarterly rate due to the poor performance of the electronic, semiconductors and the chemical sector. Great developments happened in October in Singapore regarding cybersecurity. On the one hand, the ASME Cybersecurity Excellent Award has been launched to recognize small and medium companies in Singapore that are committed to cybersecurity. On the other hand, ransomware has become a growing concern for businesses in Singapore, with the number of cases rising by 54% between 2020 and 2021. As a result, the government has set up a task force from different sectors to develop policies and operational plans to improve Singapore's quantum ransomware effect. And finally, Singapore and the EU will collaborate on safety standards for flying taxis. They want to ensure that certification standards can keep pace with a rapidly developing sector that is estimately to be worth 25 billion Singapore dollars by 2025 and 75 billion dollars by 2035 and we'll have ready flying taxis as soon as 2024. Thank you so much for listening and see you in November.